Hi yo, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Stella Takwasa, and today I'm back with another video. As you guys know, I was asking you guys, I did this answer, question and answer on Instagram or WhatsApp or YouTube or Facebook, and I got a lot of questions. A lot of them. I wrote them down like they are like two pages. So I'm gonna try my best to answer most of them if I didn't answer all of them. Yeah, they are quite interesting, so let's get into this video. time let's go into the first question which is who raised you are you more closer to your mom or your dad how long did you wait this is the question. who raised you and are you more closer to your mom or your dad well i was raised by i was raised by my grandmother and my aunt i'm more closer to my dad than my biological mother but then i call my aunt my mother because she's the one that raised me and my my grandmother my mother because she's my godmother so yeah i don't really have a lot of things to say about my biological mother because i don't know i don't know her i don't know her physically i once saw her like in 2015 that was the first time in for me to see her i to recognize that this is my mother and that was the last time i saw her she's not dead she's alive but then i'm just we are not in good in terms we're not in good terms or we don't really have a connection and how long did you wait for the channel to get monetized? I started I started my YouTube channel in 2018, around May. I think that year I only posted like three videos. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like, let me upload. That year I only posted uh, three videos. And then in 2019, I started being serious. So for the start, for the start, I think I have to say I have stayed here for like for two years. But then last year was the year that I started being serious about to do. That was the year I started knowing that, you know what, I want to do this. And I'm going to do this. Yeah. How do they, okay, how do they pay? How does YouTube pay? YouTube pays uh, on your bank account, any bank account. But I suggest that the international bank accounts maybe, or PayPal, or Western Union. Yes. People are actually asking how does YouTube pay thing that I got paid. I don't get paid. <laughs> I know I just started making money, but I'm not paid yet. What is copyright music? Oh yeah, this one I got this one on YouTube. Copyright music is the content that belongs to somebody else. So the music that we use, they belong to somebody else. And this music or songs, they are protected. So for you to use these songs, you have to pay or you have to talk to the owner or you have to own ownership. No, I think you have to be in an agreement with the owner of the song. But there are quite other songs that you can use on YouTube with, which are copyrighted free. Hope that makes sense. And apparently, when are you changing your YouTube intro? Much love. Um, I don't know. I think I would love that intro. But since you brought it up, I will look into it. <laughs> I'll look into it. How much is your CPM per thousand views? Okay, my statistics are not recorded yet because I just started. But I, I went on Google. To, and I'll put the picture on the screen. But I think Namibian CP almost or South African, let me say Namibian, but a thousand views is like 75 cents. And South African is like two dollars. But it depends on the views that you're getting and from the countries that you're getting. And those that don't know what CPM is, CPM means is cost per view. Yeah. Ne. Or cost per impression. The one that's say impression is the number of people that are clicking on your video which means per view what currency do you get paid in as a namibian wow as a namibian youtuber okay you guys are just ask me about money eh? well people are oh, youtube pays in american dollars so if you make a dollar and you change it to a namibian currency it's like 19 dollars yeah youtube pays in dollars it depends on 
when you go and change and all these things so yeah how did you verify your address did they mail you that paper with a pin oh no okay the first step that i talked about on my previous video which were three steps the second step was to verify your country your name and your address but then they'll only send you the pin on your agent's account when you make a hundred dollars upwards so you only get a chance to request for your pin when you make a hundred dollars upwards and i'm very far from making that hundred dollars and, and even though i happen to make that hundred dollars i don't think i will request for the pin yet because i don't want to use that money yet i have plans for it so you only get that paper or that google agent paper when uh, when you hit the one hundred dollars, which is American dollars, and you request for the pin. Yes. How is life personally? Well, uh, right now life is quite challenging, but still fun. Yeah, quite challenging, but still fun. I'm just grateful for everything that is happening right now. It might be confusing, or I might not understand, but I'm just so grateful. I just got monetized over after and there is something big that is coming up i don't want to say about but i'm grateful and i'm just so happy no, i'm just grateful i don't know where where my life is going i i like i have an example of where i want my life to be but then it depends on what is written up there now that you are monetized would you consider doing youtube full time i would love that i would love that but then in namibia uh, mm, not now i really need a lot of coins so it's better if you get a job and also you do youtube on like a side hustle which is good but then once we hit the 1 million subscribers i'm like god wait i will be my own boss <laughs> yeah okay what do you film with and when did you start your channel i feel with my phone iphone 6 plus i started my channel last year not last year last of last year 2018 in may these questions are quite a lot and i i just wanted this video to be like minimum minutes like somewhere but i'll be a little bit faster because i don't really want to waste your time <laughs> i know time is money eh? okay what inspires you to start a youtube channel i don't know i i remember the first video i uploaded i was with a friend and i i don't know i just made a video apparently you not know, the exercise i think i did it right now i don't know i was just like and it turns out that i started i opened like i opened my channel long back before then i was just like i don't even know what i was doing i was just like ah uh, let me try uploading i uploaded the video and the video was just there and then the next time i was like let me try speaking like the way this girl speak hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i didn't even know why i was telling people to subscribe i didn't know anything i was just uploading i was just there i think something inside of me was just like do it do it while my mind didn't know what i was actually doing but my heart was actually leading me the inner somebody was talking to me and i was just listening until today i found that i actually love youtube and i want to be here <laughs> and why don't you why don't you do your eyebrows on camera every time you record i don't know i i don't know i'm not really a type of person that does makeup every day this is the time i feel like I can. let me also try doing makeup like the other girls do but then i'm not the type of person that say i will not go in front of a camera without makeup i don't know i'm just I'm just like this i don't know but then to I, I, I would also like to start my feminine journey i think i should start looking on that as well because of this journey that I'm actually taking like from now onwards there are a lot of things that I need to change I guess <laughs> okay when did you have your first kiss? Okay, I'll end there. 
<laughs> in one of your videos with Julian, she was supposed to start a YouTube channel. What's up? Well, yeah, she was supposed to start, but it, it takes time for a person to motivate themselves to start a YouTube channel, actually. So, I don't know. I think she's still looking into that. I'll, I'll, I'll look up. I'll, I'll follow up and ask. I used to ask. She's like, no, just wait, wait, wait. But I think it's quite difficult to start a YouTube channel. Like, it's quite difficult. It's not, like, I don't find it difficult. I love it. But maybe to get the courage to be in front of a camera and for the whole world or a lot of people to see your videos, it's quite difficult. And you seem to enjoy modeling. Do you really consider or plan to take part in Miss Namibia on years to come? Yeah, I do enjoy modeling a lot, a lot. And I would love to be, I would love to be, I would love to be in Miss Namibia, but then I'm just so scared. I don't know, uh, that, that was my dream ever since to be on that stage, but I'm just so scared like to be bullied and all this. Ah. I don't know, but I would love to. But as time passed by, yeah, yeah. Since you mentioned that you were bullied on your IG status, how how was your experience and did you defend yourself? Well, I did, I did not defend myself. I actually let people told me all these things and I thought it was true. Like, one of the examples was like, you should not smile. You have a smile like a, don a donkey. Like, okay. A lot of things you were I was told you are not you are not beautiful and only beautiful people take part in Miss Namibia. That is the reason why I'm actually scared. And I remember I told my friends I was like, I really wanna take part in this. And they were like, You don't have a degree, so you won't. I, I was told a lot of things. I was told a lot of things. And now I'm just no but I do not defend myself. But then thank God I started reading books or listening to motivational before i started reading books i started uh, listening to motivational speakers and all these things and i started talking to myself telling myself that you know what no matter what people say and that that was the the main reason i cut my hair um in primary school people used to go like you have ugly hair because i have this a lot of hair bushy hair and they wanted my hair to be like the rest of the people that they know i don't know and they were like you have ugly hair and all these things and i remember when i was in grade six i was going to a next class and this girl just throw sand on my hair saying that my hair is very ugly and i had to go and relax so that i looked like the other girls that were relaxing that's why i started relaxing and then when i started finding myself i started knowing who i am i was like no more relaxing i'm gonna cut this hair i'm gonna start over as a new person okay next one are you currently in a relationship if yes how is it going no i'm not in a relationship i've been single now for some quite time long period which i think i'm okay right now i don't really think i want to be in a relationship anytime soon when do you plan on having babies? Wow, okay. <laughs> when do you plan on having babies? Yo, yeah, guys. But the way I was raised, ne? the way I was raised made me feel that there's no need of me bringing a baby to suffer on this world. But then maybe after, let me just say, let me reach for the stars. Maybe after 20 years, if I do not reach for the stars, I'll fall on the moon which is now maybe 10 years or 15 years because I still need to do a lot of things I need to work on myself I need to work on a lot of things before I bring a baby so not anytime soon and in fact I don't think there's any potential that wants to bring a baby with me here <laughs> what advice could you give to those currently in grade 12 during the pandemic well babes um do not let anything stop you. Grade 12 is quite important. 
and you really need to focus like don't tell your mind do not tell your mind or just talk about COVID-19 or scare yourself look I know that it's COVID-19 but I decided not to believe it I know it's true I know that I have to take care of myself but I decided not to pay attention to it because I know the moment I started paying attention to it or think about it every day I will freak out I'll be scared every moment I will, I will live in the world of fear and I don't want that so just make sure you sanitize yourself boost your immune system i always tell myself my 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 friends and friends like i have a strong blood i won't get that thing and the moment you tell your mind that you won't get you won't and the moment you tell your mind that you might you will you started doubting yourself it will it's just the, it's just the same way if you are studying and you tell yourself that i won't get this you won't get this. and if you tell yourself that i will pass you will pass me it's just a, ma a matter of mindset and law of attraction yeah manifesting everything just talking to yourself and it will help you a lot why do you like cutting your hair <laughs> okay i think i answered this where did i cut my hair i cut my hair like what last year yeah last year i cut my because i wanted to be somebody new i wanted to start over the world i thought that the world i was living was not or the way i was living my life was not according to me but it was according to the society of how the society wanted to see me and i decided to cut my hair and start a new chapter according to me so but now i'm not cutting anymore i'm not cutting anymore not anymore okay make relationships advice and high school advice um relationship advice myself I don't really work out in relationships my relationships don't work out like I give up <laughs> um this I'm, I don't know I, I don't think I'll do that but I'll do that where, where is this coming from <laughs> okay but then high school advice what advice actually do you want me to give you as a high school student comment down below Okay, say two, say two words in Afrikaans with not less than 10 letters. I know you can't speak Afrikaans, but just try long. Okay, with no less than 10 letters. Back my chain. Fanta. More and stay dark. that's it i think that's it okay how did you start with the modeling slash fashion shows okay i started i started modeling when i was in grade seven high school things it's high school things and then i came to Bento. i went for i, I remember a jackson Posh taught me the high fashion modeling which is now fashion shows because i knew how to do pageants back then and I just started volunteering myself, doing photo shoots, paying for my own photo shoots, go making fashion shows that I was not being paid for. Um, until today, my th I think I was just promoting myself, communicating with people that are in the same industry, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the last question i enjoy reading your question guys i hope you guys enjoy this video and the answer that i gave you i hope you guys are satisfied with them we came to the end of this video thank you all for watching if you are a new subscriber welcome to the d babes channel this is your Stella da costa and if you're an old subscriber i love you so much thank you for your genuine support i'll see you guys in my next video